Silencing the stigma around mental health and bullying. That's the goal of a new campaign launched in eight school districts in Sedgwick County. As Jessica Watson reports, ComCare hopes this new program will help prevent suicide attempts in young adults. Craig, this program began three years ago in Johnson County after a superintendent saw a spike in suicide attempts in that district. The program made a big impact there and the executive director of ComCare says she hopes we will see a difference in Cedric County too. I've been bullied my, <laughs> my whole life. Um, I've been called names that I didn't appreciate. Um, I had my aunt had ended up killing herself um, almost four years ago. And so it's very impactful to me. Hard topics for young adults, but the executive director of ComCare, Joan Tammany, says having the conversation makes a difference. You know, not only now are you talking about bullying, but you're talking about suicide prevention. I mean, wow, those are two of the biggest taboo subjects predominantly for adults because it's scary. And here you have youth who are willing to wear a, a banner around their neck to say, you know, when you called me this. Um, and it's the same thing. Timney says breaking down barriers and starting conversations is the goal of the student led campaign Zero Reasons Why, launching in eight school districts in the county this month. She says suicide attempts have doubled in recent years, so have hospitalizations for mental health reasons. Our numbers right now are very high. You know, we have 84 youth were admitted to the hospital in December. 84, that's just an unacceptable number of youth struggling. One counselor at West High School says students are ready to help. Students want to talk about the hard issues. They want to deal with the mental health issues that they have going on and that they see with other people. The new program will be holding its first orientation next month for students. Leaders with Zero Reasons Why say they hope to have 30 student leaders from each school. Here for you, Jessica Watson, KSN News 3.